Yes, Lord. Care free. The word says, cast all your care on him. He cares you right now. Right now, give it to the Lord. Right now. We're moving to worship now. Time to give it to the Lord. Give it to the Lord right now. Care free. Rest in the Lord right now. Amen. Amen. Woo!
God carefree to be carefree to leave the world at the door as we move into worship as we move into worship we leave the world at the door and now we focus on one thing to rest in the Lord sit back in your Holy Ghost easy chair and let the Holy Ghost take you on a journey a journey of peace a stress-free journey a peaceful journey just sit back and rest in the Lord and give everything to the Lord in prayer that's why we call this give it to the Lord Saturday give everything to the Lord every worry every stress every fear every anxiety every struggle every attack every infirmity whatever it is give everything to Lord in prayer and now just rest no stress just rest 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 whatever's heavy on your heart heavy on your mind right now give it to Lord right now lay it on the altar lay on the altar every worry every stress every fear every anxiety every struggle every problem every infirmity every debt whatever it is lay it on the altar right now and once you lay it on the altar what do you do let go lay the heaviness on the altar and give it to the Lord let go and trust I said let go and what trust trust the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding in all our ways we acknowledge him and he will direct our path but we got to let go we've got to let go we got to trust if you don't let go you're not trusting say it to yourself say it to yourself i must trust and let go say it again I must trust the Lord and let go let go and let God do what he does best for you Lord are the bird remover the yoke destroyer the way maker the miracle worker the mountain mover the door opener the great physician the strong tower in each of our lives whose hand we never ever let go we never ever let go of God's unchanging hand you're the same yesterday today forevermore you are the air we breathe As a deer panteth for the water, so our soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. So right now we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter, we are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, Lord. Every day, have your way. Have your way in every way. 
And right now, we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me. As you see fit for the kingdom. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ask or think according to the power within us. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. With God, all things are possible. Oh Lord, we feel the weight lifting, Lord. We feel your presence. We feel your love, your touch, your comfort. Because right now we are in the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, we're trying our best, Lord. We're trying our best to do everything we can, Lord, to live by your word, your will, your way, Lord. To be doers of the word, and not hearers only, Lord. To keep what? Living by the word. Yes, Lord. Living by the word. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. together cause we're living by the word hallelujah living by the word oh thank you jesus oh glory to god the word thank you jesus living by the word hallelujah hallelujah
so real. God is so real. The only way we're all here right now together as a fellowship is because God has been real to each one of us here. We couldn't have made it without him. We wouldn't have made it without him. God is so real. And the more we recognize that, the more we feel his love, the more we understand he's never left us. He's been with us through good times and bad times. Like it says in the word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you even to the end of the age. We are never alone. Never, ever alone. We may physically feel alone, but in reality, we are never alone. For he is with us every step of the way. No matter what you're going through, no matter how you feel, no matter how dark it is or how bright it is, Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Says the word. And that's why we just say, yes, Lord. That's why we say yes. Yes to your will, yes to your way. Lead us, Lord. Lead us every step of the way, every day, Lord. We cannot survive without you. We cannot win the battles in this world without you. And as we sing it every day, I need you, Jesus, and I need you all day long, every second of every day. You are the air we breathe. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord.
Just you and me, Lord. Just you and me. Yes. 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 And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yes. Amen, fellowship. Before we close this beautiful night of jazz, praise, and worship. I always know someone's watching or visiting who doesn't understand our fellowship and why we're driven to come together six days a week for over two hours in praise and worship and fellowship, knowing we all come together for this point in time to be here together and stand still in God's presence together but someone right now doesn't understand that. So right now I'm going into the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted. I respect for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now I'm talking to the person listening. And you've been here the whole time. And you heard the praise and the worship and the fellowship. And you see the love among this fellowship, worldwide love. But right now you can't connect because right now your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety, hopelessness is all over you. Families turning away from you, friends stabbing you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow, you find yourself on this channel and have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. Because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. That's why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to a life of sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil's telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and you fell back to sin, there's nothing the devil could do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop it. So where they're walking right now is a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord. Or right now your life is filled with depression and darkness and hopelessness. Or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Either way, I want you to pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done. And the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And I commit right now, I would not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without living up to you first. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, 
Your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us when you're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit. Starve your flesh. Feed your faith. Starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life. Which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named or unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. We cast all you demonic spirits out of mind, out of a spirit, out of a home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell for which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding, loose restoration, Lord, restore, restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord, bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep a hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes we heal, Lord. And every day we confess it, Lord. We confess it every day. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. Every day, confess it. Thank him. Confess it. Thank him. Every day, pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose. Supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. Supernatural debt cancellation. Oh Lord, let your blessing, Lord. Let your blessing of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on fellowship, air, financial need, whatever it is. For you shall supply all our need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything. When the Lord is my shepherd, who are they head and not tail? We're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we be the best than others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are children of God. And nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for our miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord. Now we know every day. We take time every day to see it. See your miracle every day. See it. Believe it. And receive it in your heart. And as you receive it in your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his, may the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his face a divine approval upon you 
and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to every you touch and speak to. A blessing to every you pray over. A blessing to every you pass by. And bless while I open your mouth. Because of love and light the Lord is all over you. 24 7, 365, including leap year. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. The fellowship say, Amen. 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 Praise God. <laughs>